Well, Captain, I'm so close to fully developing these new cannons. I just need some native workforce. Well, that is frankly uh, outrageous and I can't allow it, no. This is Final Frontier, a game about managing your intergalactic population by swiping left or right in that now familiar Reigns style. But it's also influenced by games like King of Dragon Pass, which is all about stuff that's about bottling that feeling of being in charge of a whole bunch of people, most of whom are really cross with you. This is one of our sponsors for this week. We have them from time to time. We always let you know up front because it is the fair and just thing to do. One of Earth's merchants who doesn't know the native language is upsetting the clans on the planet cause he's no idea what anyone is saying. I can either not care or send an interpreter. Um, so I should explain these ones at the top. We have different faction elements which we have to appease or annoy in order to keep them all balanced out. So we've got the population, which is the little helmet thing there. We've got the metropolis, which is effectively our earthbound base. We've got the planet on the far right hand side. That's the planet we're on at the moment. So it's about keeping the natives happy, the folks who originally lived there. And top left is energy, which is fairly self-explanatory. If any one of these goes to zero or maxes out, I die. I'm on 41 years, I'm doing quite well so far on this run, and uh, that it generated that name, Captain Kirk, by the way, in the lower left-hand corner, that wasn't me trying to be cute. For the final time, we insist on the return of the Metropolis bank loan. So I've been kind of putting off the ministers here, and I can either say, I need more time, or just take the cash. I'm gonna say take it, and hopefully it'll cost me energy. Good, I need to drop in energy. The natives want to establish an independent government. Um, I can either say the planet belongs to us, or they are free to do as they want. Now, both the metropolis and the planet are both equally happy. This is going to annoy one of them and please the other. I'm going to try and please, let's say we please the natives. Right, I now need to annoy the natives quickly to balance this out again. Supply and energy storage need some updates. So I can either say check it out. Yes, I needed to do that. We need more energy. It's the anniversary of the metropolis. We should celebrate! Um, right, we can either say yes. Yes, that's the right thing to do to boost the metropolis up a bit. A group of natives is causing problems near the laboratory. They are not co cooperating with the settlers. All right, then I should probably tell them to get knotted then. If I say let no, let not punish them. Yeah, you see, that was good. That improved my rating with my colonizers and also dropped the rating of the planet on the far right hand side. It means you have to by turns be a nice benevolent overlord and a complete bastard, depending on the demands of the population. You might always want to do the right thing, but even the right thing gets you dead after a while. The colony has many problems. People do not get along. We should throw a party to relax. That'll probably cost energy but improve morale. It might annoy the metropolis. I think I probably want to do it. So let's say yes. Nice, okay. Sorry, my finger's twitching on the uh, yeah, gold tile there. You should build a communication station to avoid interruptions in our transmissions. This is the metropolis trying to make good again. So I don't mind annoying them for a second. That's fine. The rain disintegrates our barracks. That's probably not ideal, is it? Every man for himself or everyone to the ship. Let's say everyone to the ship. We natives have rights. This is our planet. This is a perfect opportunity for me to sack off the natives a little bit and say now it belongs to the metropolis. Sorry. See how those two balance out now? This is this is keeping me going. This is going well. 51 years. This is this is the best I've done so far. We should review all the available weapons in the colony and replace the damaged ones. Hmm, that sounds expensive. I can say no. I think I'll say no. That'll probably boost energy and annoy the colonists. Perfect, look at that, matching out. We know of the existence of a Heridium mine on the north of the planet. We need permission to proceed with the construction of the quarry. Now, what is this gonna do? I can say no and it'll, it'll probably annoy the Trade Federation if I do so. I think I want to annoy the natives, so let's say yes. Good. We want to build a, a school in the colony, so this sounds like indoctrination. Um, I'm gonna say yes, it'll probably annoy. Okay, no, use energy and please everyone. The first official has been seen intimidating, intimating with a new native. <gasps> intimating? Things are getting a bit raunchy. Shame or not our business. I'm going to say not our business. It'll probably annoy the boss. <laughs> it will. The metropolis back home is annoyed. We need to build a jail in the colony to keep unwanted individuals. Okay, I can either say no and it'll probably save energy or I can say yes and... I think this is the military chief. I reckon it'll annoy the natives. I think I need to do that, but it'll probably improve my relations with the colonists. Let's say yes. Oh God, it improve relations with everyone. 
I didn't mean to do that. If I am too nice to the colonists now, then I am dead. We need credits to buy new tools for the colony, my captain. I can say yes or no. No. Good, that's good. More energy and then less uh, respect from the colonists. We should use pieces from the main ship to improve the colony, but the chief engineer is opposing. So uh, this is a chance, I think, to irritate the planet. I don't know. Oh, no. If I say go ahead, hmm, chief engineer is a... I don't know about this one. I don't want to improve the colony. I'm going to say never. Okay, I'll, I'll take that. Captain, a young native says she's pregnant with my child. I remember this. I can say that's not true or I can say yes. I'm going to say that's not true. I don't know if that'll improve things or not. Oh, thank God. That's exactly what I wanted. So when you start off this game, by the way, you only get three of the uh, upper little of these things. I don't know what you call them, the resource management bits, because you haven't found a planet yet. You find the planet after a while, this red planet that I'm on now, uh, which is represented by this, and then more unlock over time as you play through. I should say this is a, I believe this is a premium game when it comes out. It'll be out very soon, if not right now, as this video goes up. That last shipment that arrived at the metropolis is of interest and to some investors. They want to establish a new commercial space route and they want me to pay for the cost. So I am very happy to annoy the minister here, so no. There you go, look at this. This is working out lovely. 60 years! This is personal best. There have been altercations between the eastern and southern native villages. Should we send a command in case the skirmishes spread to the colony? Now I'm fairly equal between my population and my colonists here. Although, I'm happy to annoy them slightly, the colonists, uh, that is. So, mm, I'm going to say, should we send a command to, in case of skirmishes? Uh, yes. Oh, wow, it, they both liked it. Is the red planet as rough as they say, says the space archiver? Uh, I can say yes or no. I'm going to say yes, it is. And that's going to annoy, there you go, annoy the uh, native population. Captain, the party last night was out of control. Um... Rad. It was awesome. <laughs> I had to say that. I didn't care what it cost me. We believe it necessary to create a new intergalactic tax in my sector. Oh, I'm going to have to say yes to this because it's going to boost up the energy and the metropolis will like it. There's been some disruption at night. Should we establish a curfew on the colony? Um, I think that the colonists will not will an be annoyed if I do this. And I kind of want that. Yeah, good. All right. The natives are stealing food and resources from the colony in secret. Um, I want to say that's fine. Let's talk to the leaders. The whole colony community have a serious sanitation issue. Should we deal with it? This will cost me energy, but these guys, my population, they're too happy. So I'm going to afraid. Get used to the smell, folks. There you go. The assault team wants to explore the surroundings of the colony in search of strategic points for an attack. I need at least five men. Oh, um, uh, hmm. I presume they want to attack the colony, don't they? I guess yes, because I guess my home base will approve of this. Yeah, they did. Should we establish martial law? Um, no, my rating with the colonists is now too high, so bring it down. We want to use the alien labor to relocate the production of some earthling companies. Um, I guess yes, because we're going to have to boost our energy and balance things out. We should protect the colony with some kind of wall. I like that. It will use some energy, but that's good. Wicked. Sir, some members of the crew have a rock band. Would you jam with us? I don't care what this costs me. Hell to the yes. Let's rock. Ha <laughs> ha! <Grab the> tr <laughs> Excellent. Ziggy Stardust, jam with your own group. I've got a little... Oh, this, is, this is wicked. This is working out nicely. So there are little bonuses that you can collect and get as you go through. So achievements for dying in different ways. I haven't died yet. I feel like I should just to show you guys what it looks like. But I don't want to ruin my perfect run. Let's see if I can last a few more. Only by managing the colony's resources, we obtained profits. We can use them to help develop the colony or send them back to the metropolis. Well, that's pretty clear cut. Unfortunately, I'm going to send it to the metropolis and screw the colony because we need to boost that. I want you to come with me on our hunt, human captain. It's a way of proving that you are a worthy opponent. Well, I'm going to say no, because we're slightly too high with the natives. 
The herd of thrombos are on the move again. See you next year. Let it be that way or that... Um, I don't know what this means. That's life, I guess. With the new ingredients we've discovered, we could add new alien recipes to our diet. That could be cool. I'll say yes, because it'll... The natives will approve of me taking on the, the loveness of the local cuisine. We're low on supplies, Captain. Ask the Metropolis for help. Loot and plunder. So ask the Metropolis for help. I can. I think I can materialize food from nothing. Sounds cool. How could it go wrong? Or we in this commonly colony, we obey the laws of thermodynamics. Nice. Um, I'm going to say, cool, what could go wrong? <laughs> the aliens now trade with our suppliers. They are taking advantage of us. Now we can't... Well, no, actually, no. They're just progressing. Let it be. Even it out. We're polluting the planet. If we continue like this, it will end up just like Earth. Oh, no. I can either say it's not our planet or we should pollute less. Let's pollute less. That's a good thing. The southern tribes offer a non-aggression pact, says the comms manager. We do war or we do peace. Let's do peace. Everyone likes peace. 81 years. This is superb. I can't believe we've lasted this long. Well... If you want to try and last as long as I have on your second or third run, then you can find Final Frontier in app stores very soon, if not right now. We'll probably do a tips video on this in the future, but in the meantime, thank you for watching. I will see you next time.